This video is about the integrated furnace control or what we usually call it in the business, an IFC. It's been called a brain board, control board, all sorts of bad names. But this is a, a control system. This is not just a single control to uh, control one single thing. This controls the entire furnace. Now these are all on gas furnaces, of course, but uh, these controls, the first ones of these that came out was in the early 1990s. And it looked an awful lot like that. White Rogers was uh, the first I know of to actually come out with one. And I looked at it and I says, oh man, are we in trouble now? Uh, anything fails on this thing because it controls the whole furnace I got to replace that thing and it is specific to each model furnace uh, oftentimes they were uh, specific to the uh, not just the the model of furnace but the size of furnace so there were plenty of things there that bothered me well, it was eight years before I replaced one of these. So they actually have stood up well. I actually think the, the newer ones aren't standing up quite as well as the older ones. But what does this control do? It controls the inducer fan. It has a flame safety control to be sure the flame stayed on. It... Uh, has a fan control for the circulating fan. Uh, all those things are put in this thing. This thing receives inputs from limit switches, pressure switches, uh, flame rod, uh, sometimes some other things too. Uh, these things have gotten quite complex. But this board is everything in that furnace. If something on this board fails, you're probably going to have to replace the board. There's not much else you can do. Uh, occasionally, there's a solder joint in the back that you could solder up, but even that is a little iffy. So, uh, I'm calling this one one of the oldest ones. This one's from the early 90s. This one right here, still a White Rogers. This is a general replacement one. Now, it's kind of a giant leap when they started doing these things. Put it so you can re see it or read it. Because they made these so that they would fit a number of different furnaces. And there were different adjustments to make for each different furnace. But uh, they took away this issue with having one of these controls for every um, model and size furnace. Uh, imagine the, the inventorying, the weekend call when, uh, I mean if this thing fails, this furnace is dead, when you'd have to get this specific control, may not even be in town, so that was that was a problem. But there weren't a lot of problems with the boards. The boards were pretty well designed and they have held up fairly well. But you have to understand, everything goes to this board. It's all put in one little package. And I'm kind of a convert to these boards. I think they're pretty good, especially ones, ones like this came out that we could do a general replacement. Uh, there's still some that you can't do that on, uh, some furnaces, specific furnaces. but. The integrated furnace control is pretty much a future and virtually everything out there uses this. There's a few unit heaters and things like that that don't use them, but for the most part, all of these residential furnaces will use this type of control. This control is blamed for more problems that, it, that are not its fault than any other part. It is probably replaced much more than it ever should be. You need to be looking at the inputs to it. What are the inputs telling you? 
Are they telling it to shut off? Uh, they certainly could be. So many boards are, are replaced, the problem stays the same, and then the tech's got to figure out what really happened. The integrated furnace control for the gas furnace very important. Virtually all these controls have a light, a little blinky light here, a little blinky light there, a little blinky light there. Not sure where the blinky light is on this one over here. Um, not sure it even has one. Uh, the blinky light, and there's a code on the, on the front of the control that tells you how many blinks it blinks, what the problem is. I do, I'll reference the uh, Gray Furnace Man website because I have the error codes for quite a number of furnaces in there. And if for some reason you can't find it, like this one is not going to show you the error codes on it. It should be somewhere on the furnace. But first thing you're doing when you're dealing with one of these things is you're looking at that code that says, what's it saying? Is it saying the limit switch is open? Is it saying the pressure switch is open? Something like that, because it tells you those things. It's not necessarily telling you what's wrong, it's telling you where to look. Anyway, that is the integrated furnace control as used on the modern gas furnace.